A group of uh, Essex Muslims are using sport today to engage with the wider community. The uh, SI Madrasa of Essex is a Saturday school that runs classes for Muslims living in the county. Well, they're swapping the classroom today for the sports field for their community sports event. And I'm very pleased to say that uh, Mrs Akila Manji is one of the teachers and one of the organisers of today's community sports event. And she's with us now. Morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. So, uh, firstly, uh, we, we better find out what SI Madrasa is. Tell me briefly a little bit about the Saturday School. Well, the Saturday School basically um, is, a, is a school which is Madrasa in Arabic. And this particular Madrasa is of the Shia Muslim School of Thought. And uh, its main aim is to provide basic knowledge of uh, recitation of the Holy Quran and reflection on it. Um, as well as uh, the Islamic code of practice, Islamic history, and um, Islamic morals and ethics. So it's a way for, for Muslim children who perhaps wouldn't get that Monday to Friday in, in their Essex school to, to, to keep in touch with their religion? Yes, it is. It is, as well as one of the aims of uh, the SI Madrasa of Essex is uh, to focus on helping our Muslim youth to integrate in the wider society and, and to contribute positively to the society in which they live and so we show them the link between what they are taught in the classroom on a Saturday and how to practically apply it uh, in their daily lives. Well, that, is it unusual for this kind of school or, or is this, you know, happening all over the country? It is actually country? happening all over the country and right. we've got uh, SI Madrasa, the Shia is now Shia Madrasa. We've got them in London, um, in Milton Keynes, in Leeds, in Leicester. So it's basically all over the country. And how many come to the Chelmsford one on a Saturday then? We have roughly about 50. We started quite small, yeah. about 16, but every year we've grown and grown as people have come to know about it. And as the need has grown, so have we. Schooling six days a week, though. I know, that's uh. commitment, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's commitment. But today they won't be in the classroom. No, they're very uh, excited about it, that. It's sports day. Yes, it uh, is. Fabulous. And, and I know that y you want the whole community to come and kind of join your sports day, Absolutely, don't you? Absolutely, we do. And um, every year since we've started, we've, we've kind of taken it a step at a time. So we started with the idea of fundraising to get the children to again practically apply the teachings of being charitable in Islam and working for others and being selfless and so every year they take up a charity that they want and uh, they do all kinds of activities on sports they to raise funds for it so Brilliant. we've had the Ali Asghar water appeal where they raised enough money to sponsor 14 water pumps in, in a village in Gujarat and then last year they chose Kids Inspire which is a charity that works with children yes. um, and we raise some amount towards that and uh, this year they've chosen the Essex Coalition of Disabled People Brilliant. and this was their Brilliant. choice. We, we give them a list of charities and they then decide which ones they want to go for. You see, something good can come out of Sports Day. <laughs> <laughs> so all the usual Sports Day activities? Yes, absolutely. We have football, cricket, rounders, badminton, Egg and relays, spoon race? Egg and spoon. We can't oh, do without egg and spoon. You can't. That's a must. Yes. You've got to. And, and will it be just Muslims taking part or, or do you want people from from the wider community to come and take part we have tried to um, engage with the wider community through sports day and again we've started small so we've started by calling um, local dignitaries so we've had uh, the MP of Chelmsford when he was the MP of Chelmsford Simon Burns and he's now the right honourable MP for West Chelmsford as well as the health minister and he'll be visiting us today. Um, last year we had the mayor and mayoress of Chelmsford visit us. I bet they're good with the egg and spoon. <laughs> yeah. You've got, you can't become a mayor oh, we, without being good with an egg and spoon. We let them off that. We let oh. them off that. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the Muslim ladies that take part, I mean, you've got a fabulous yes. blue headdress today Thank matching the blue much. microphone. Absolutely. You're sitting in front yes, of. I need it to be colour coordinated yeah. today. <laughs> uh, do you have to do sport and, and the activities in, in the headdress as if well? If it was a girls only event it wouldn't be necessary but because we have
have a mixture of girls and boys, then yes, uh, our Islamic code of practice requires us to wear the headscarf. So yes, we do our sports in our headscarves. So do you feel hampered by this? Or? Well, it's so much a part of who we are. This is something, it's like second skin to us and we hardly notice that it's there. And uh, so You can't blame it then if you come no, last? No, we can't blame ah. it unfortunately, no. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> no excuses. Tell us where and when this is happening today because people might just want to come along yeah, and absolutely. find out more. Absolutely, yes. Uh, it is at Low Food Meat Junior School and it starts at 10 o'clock. Uh, we start with our sporting activities and then at around 1 o'clock we break up for prayers because again that's teaching the children that you can have fun and at the same time practice your religion. Um, obviously we have the um, Honourable MP visiting us so he will then do a presentation of the trophies and, and medals and um, just get to know our community better. 10 o'clock, Lawford Mead Junior School in Chelmsford. Also, I think it's worth mentioning that this year the children of Lawford Mead Junior School will be joining us as well Brilliant. as the head teacher, Mrs. Dawn Baker. And this was an effort on both sides, on the side of Lawford Mead as well as the madrasa, to kind of forge links, stronger links to promote community cohesion. Well, good luck with it. Uh, I hope you. it goes well. And we'll, we'll find out more about your school, I reckon, on a, on a Sunday breakfast in the future. It that sounds would be uh, great. really interesting. Mrs. Uh, Akeem. Manji, one of the teachers. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very We'd much. Find